good morning to all of you students today i am going to explain the classification of the data structures so first we will see the basic concept of the data structure and after that we will see uh, the classification of the data structure so let us see first of all we will see a data structure is a logical or mathematical model of a so this is the concept that we are recalling basically and uh, the definition of the data structure we have already discussed but we are recalling some more concepts of the data structure so we can define it the data structure is a logical or mathematical model of a particular organization of data so it is a logical or mathematical model that can be organized in some manner particular organization now the choice of data structure depends considerations considerations and the first one is the data structure should be able the data structure should be able to should be able setup should be able to represent represent the inherent inherent relationship inherent relationship of data in real world means it should be able to represent the inherent relationship or inbuilt relationship of the data this is the first consideration and the second is it should be simple enough simple enough so that it could be it could be processed efficiently as and when required means the data structure the selection of the data structure it will it should be very simple so that whenever it is required it should be processed in some efficient manner so these are the two consideration whenever we want to select we want to choose the data structure these two considerations are considered and study of data structure data structure this thing includes first is the logical
description of data structure. data structure or oh, data structure the third one is quantitative quantitative analysis of the data structure so these are the three things which are included in the study of the data structure now we will see the classification of the data structure classification of data structures the data structure can be classified basically in two categories initially classified in two categories first category is primitive data structure this is the first category and second category is non primitive the second category primitive data structure is nothing but these are the basically built in types or the simple data types so they are basically like integer real character and boolean this basically primitive data structure basically includes the characters which cannot be further divided so first category is integer we know the characteristics of the integer it can store as a positive or negative value it can occupy two bytes of memory and <coughs> there is some range that depends on the memory it occupies and second one this is the real it can store decimal values it can also store negative and positive both type of values this is the character data type that we normally study in c c++ and most of the programming languages so it occupies basically one byte of memory it can also store negative and positive both type of values this is boolean it can store true or false value this we know this is the second category of data structure this is non primitive data structure they can be further divided Further divided into two categories. First category is linear data structure, and second is non linear data structure. are those data structures in which the data items can be arranged in some linear manner or in some linear list they can be divided by array second is linked list third is stack this we know array array it can store the similar type of data items it can be divided in most some various categories like single dimensional two dimensional arrays on the other hand linked list linked list is also a linear data structure it can also store some elements it uses pointer the concept of the pointer in this basically there is a concept of node and that have two parts first is info 
and the second is pointer variable that we study later in the subsequent uh, videos or lectures. This is another data structure, this is a stack. The stack is also a linear data structure that is based on the last in first out system or LIFO system or last come first serve. Fourth category is this the queue, this is based on the uh, real time queue that we normally see on the railway stations, bus stations. It is based on the first in first out system, first come first serve system. So these are the four categories, these are very popular categories. Now this is the second category. This is non-linear data structure. In this basically the elements are aligned in the sequence. A peer to peer manner. But in non-linear data structures, they are not arranged in some sequence. And they basically implement the there are two categories of non-linear data structures. First is A and the second is graph. Tree is a non-linear data structure that basically implement the hierarchical data model that, that we study in the DBMS or database management system. And the second category is, this is the graph. It basically implements the network model that we normally study in the database. So these are the two popular categories, tree, graph, these are the four categories, array, linked list, stack, and queue. About these array, linked list, stack, queue, tree and graph, we will study in detail in the subsequent videos. Thank you.